Good morning, YouTube. It is now 6.57 a.m. Uh, I woke up a little bit ago. Okay, so off to discussion about this video that I'm going to make. All right, here we go. I'm going to talk about Tangled versus Frozen. Okay, one... I've seen both of these a number of times. My niece really likes Frozen. Do I like Frozen? Yes. But, do I have a problem with it? Yes. And if you're going to ask me what is this problem, it is extremely overrated. It is, it is extremely overrated. Um, the fact is, excuse me. So I was watching, previously before I saw this movie, I was watching Tangled. And I was rewatching both of them at the same time. I rewatched one and then I rewatched the other one. And I gotta say, Tangled has a better story, better comedy, and has a better setup. You know, the, the story behind Tangled is really, really well done and well connected. Because you r really can't connect the movie Frozen too well. Because they didn't go to a background on how Elsa got her ice power. They, and the plot was a little bit um, smeared at some parts, if, if I shall say. And the story with Tangled was just smooth and well connected. It connected everything. like, And the comedy behind Tangled is awesome. Not so much the comedy behind the other one. The story behind... The story behind Frozen was a little sloppy. I mean, it had some comedy. I did like Olaf. I like Sven. I like Kristoff. I like Anna. I like Elsa. But the villain, oh my gosh, was he lame. He was the lamest Disney villain ever. He was lame. He acted like... The villain be behind... Um, villain Tangled was really good. And the story was great. And to be quite honest, I love Rapunzel in that movie. And I really... <clears throat> I love Eugene the most because he was hilarious. My favorite characters were Eugene, Rapunzel, Maximus, and and um I forgot what that other Disney villain um that other Disney character that other I did like the chameleon Pascal and I did like the um the villain Mother Gothel it was a great story um it had a great story it had a great plot and they they told how Rapunzel got her flower power hair and they gave all the detail and it was said very well and then I remember if you cut the hair it would turn brown and lose the power therefore Mother Gothel who, who would use a flower power hair so she would stay young would die. Um, and then, quite frankly, um, Eugene and the and the horse Maximus made me laugh so hard in this movie. <clears throat> it, and it was a well put together film. And you usually have to look at the pros and cons. There were no cons for me in this one. The pros were. Great story, laughs, and, I mean, it was brilliant. I mean, I heard a lot about it. I heard about it online, and I looked it up. And then um, Brittany, my, um, the love of my life, told me about it. And then, and then I started watching it one day when she was at high school. And then I took a break partway in when she called me on the, on my, old iPod and then I told her I was watching Tangled and she was over at lunch at her high school and I was talking to her <sighs> 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 
So I talked to her, and then I, um, and then I decided to, uh, watch the rest of it, and I liked it. I liked the story, I liked the plot. So here are the pros you have with, with, uh, Tangled. Great story, great setup, um, great chemistry between the characters. With Frozen, you kind of move all over the place. With Tangled, it was... With Tangled, you have, like, the main character, Rapunzel or Eugene, whichever one you would give the more of the main character to. Let's go see. characters of course Rapunzel then Eugene and the mother Gothel then probably Maximus but then you know who you have to give the and the characters were really well the, the mother and father of Rapunzel were done very well they never shared a word but you could see their grief and then they let out the lanterns for Rapunzel every year this is a great setup <laughs> And, yeah, I mean, you always need a background story. It's one of the things that highlights what you have. And you know the background story, so you know what to expect. Elsa, um, don't get me wrong, I did like Frozen, but it's, it's extremely overrated. The pros about Elsa is, it's a, uh, about that movie is, it's funny. Frozen is funny, or excuse me, and <laughs> I didn't mean to say the pros behind Elsa. My favorite part of Tangled, though per se, is when Eugene and Rapunzel get kiss, and when Maximus is fighting Eugene, and when Eugene's like, "Here comes the smolder," he's like, and he's fighting, and he's like. Oh, mama, I've got to get me one of these. And, she, and then he fought Maximus and said, You should know that this is the strangest thing I've ever done. And he's like, How about two out of three? And then, and then he went, and then Maximus dropped the sword out of his mouth because he went like this. When he saw that her hair pulled him away. And then, and then when, when he's like, All right, Blondie, and she's like, Rapunzel, he's like, good tonight. <laughs> yeah, and of course, the part when Eugene did die was very sad, and then when Rapunzel cried and brought him back with his tears, I like when he's like, Rapunzel? And she's like, Eugene? And he said, did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? I did like that part. You know, um, there were two parts I really liked of Frozen. But there is something. I did like when she built the ice castle. And there was something else. Oh, yeah. My favorite part of that movie was when Anna punched Hans right in the face. Yeah, that, that villain was terrible. Oh, my gosh. She was so bad. It's like, per se, you're going to a party. And it's like you see, you see something you don't want to see. That's what you see when... That's what you say when you see Prince Hans. You don't want to see a terrible Disney villain. You want to see a great one. Um, if I could give a list of my favorite villains, my favorite is Scar. Scar's my all-time favorite Disney villain. Scar from The Lion King. My second favorite is Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Excuse me. My third is... Jafar from Aladdin. There was someone else I really liked. I do like Mother Gothel, but I do like Captain Hook as well. Excuse me. Mother Gothel wasn't as sloppy as sloppy as um um as Hans. The cons of Pro Frozen is it's it's overrated. 
and the songs are overplayed, seriously overplayed. That song, Let It Go, don't get me wrong, is good, but it's so overplayed on the radio. My sister would listen to the radio, there would be Let It Go at least twice on the radio when she drove me. And I worked 45 minutes away from where I live, so she was picking me up from work one time. And then I hear Let It Go at least twice on the radio. My sister liked, liked um, Tangled and liked Frozen. I give Tangled the stronger rating. You know what? Quite frankly, the cons with Frozen is it's overrated. The background story is kind of sloppy, and it's not as good of a setup as as Tangled. Tangled is also more humorous. Tangled has better laughs, and it is the better movie. I give Tangled a ten out of ten, or a hundred out of ten. I give I give Frozen a seven out of ten. Here are the Disney movies I like most, including. Tangled is definitely number one on the list, but here are my favorite Disney movies in order so far. Yeah. Tangled, The Lion King, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, The Great Mouse Detective, Oliver and Company, Dumbo, The Jungle Book, The Fox and the Hound, Robin Hood. Actually, I put Zootopia as number... number nine. Um... Zootopia was a good one. Bambi, Frozen, Tarzan, Hercules, Lady and the Tramp, The Sword in the Stone, Brother Bear, The Aristocats, Pocahontas, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland, 101 Dalmatians, Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. There was a... Some of these movies, I mean, The Little Mermaid was one of my favorite Disney movies so I decided to rewatch it a few years ago. Love it. I had always seen the second one more, and then I bought the first one. Or I got the first one for Christmas a few years ago. So Zootopia is in my top ten, and Zootopia I really like. Um. But that's all I have to say for now. I just don't think Frozen is really that great of a movie. I mean, it had some nice parts like Sven was funny, Kristoff was funny, Anna was pretty cool, Olaf was hilarious, Elsa wasn't bad, but Hans was terrible. When you have a horrible Disney villain, expect one part to be sloppy. Alright, thank you all for watching. And by the way, my friend Lisa... Disney 65 fan is the world's biggest Tangled fan. Don't try to compete with her because you won't win. Alright, thank you for thank you all for watching. Stay up to date and subscribe. Bye. Peace out.